So you've been given a research assignment. Now what? Good research stems from analyzing your chosen topic, searching for relevant sources such as books or scholarly articles, and evaluating those sources to determine whether or not they can be used to bolster your argument or answer your question. Thinking less about how many sources you need and more about what you might do with your sources can help you write a paper in which you contribute to this scholarly dialogue or conversation about your chosen topic. In this video, we'll be looking at using your sources in a purposeful manner, as outlined in Joseph Bizzup's BEAM model. Bizzup explains that in the BEAM model, writers rely on background sources, interpret or analyze exhibits, engage arguments, and follow methods. B stands for background. This is the big picture information that provides a working knowledge of your topic. Background information should not be controversial and is accepted as fact. Background information can usually be found in scholarly subject encyclopedias or other reference works found in the library's catalog and may also help you discover new keywords for your topic. E stands for exhibit. An exhibit is a direct source of information that can be used as evidence to support your position. These are sources that you'll analyze or interpret and may consist of raw data, images, studies, or other materials, often primary sources, which provide a focal point for your paper. A stands for argument. Argument sources can back up your own argument, complicate your argument, offer a fuller picture of the issue, or suggest alternative answers. These sources allow you to engage in scholarly discourse with your topic. You can find argumentative materials in books and articles. Finally, M stands for method. Method sources, such as B.F. Skinner's behavior modification techniques, allow you to borrow an approach, key idea, or theory to frame your own analysis. They are works that provide a lens through which you are analyzing your topic. While writing your scholarly paper, you should try to utilize all four types of sources. However, a well-written paper may get by with fewer. It's also important to realize that no one source will meet all your needs. Using a variety of sources together is the key to writing a well-balanced paper with evidence. And if you get stuck, ask a librarian.